Hey guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today we'll be learning in depth about how to set up your interface. So we have our SketchUp software launched already. So this file which we have created in the earlier video. So if you don't know how to make the file as per our requirement, you can just go to our previous video and have a look at how to create your own custom file or a custom template so we'll click on our template we'll open it so once it is opens see now you can see it has opened as per our default which we had already set in our earlier video so today in this lesson we'll be talking more about the default tree and about the tool sets so now what is we'll start by one by one so what is default tree now when a default tree comes here we have like options here like materials we have components we have style so now what are what all things we need here is well, we need materials we need components so we need style we'll be needing tags scenes shadows so sometimes what happens now for example i do set up your own to set up your own default tree or to customize your default tree what do you do is go to windows now in windows you have first option as default tree now here you have plenty options now you can see these are all our default tree options now if you give hide default tree the default tree gets hidden over here now to bring it back go to default tree and give show tree you can also rename your default tree for example you can just type ida and we can give rename you can see it got renamed over here similarly we have other options as well now coming here so what happens sometimes you'll have a default default tree how it looks i'll show you now if i go to manage tree down and if i choose ida now here what happens now the default tree will be having entity info then you'll be having this instructor now what this instructor is basically this instructor whenever you choose a tool it will show you how to use it so here are steps how what tool it is how to do what is the shortcuts everything now so basically now if you want a instructor tab you can keep or else you can just remove it you can also remove it from the default tray itself what you can do is just click on this x mark if you don't need and even this entity info which we won't be using so we'll be using this as of now and you can always choose whichever you need by going to manage trace and you can just click on your trace and just add or rename you can even create a new tray again if you want uh, for example we'll put id2 and you can choose what all things you need now for example randomly we'll be choosing few things now you can see you have two default trees now if you click on it so now you can see the default tray has shown over here that which one new we have, we have created now to get your old default tray like the default tray only one which we created earlier you can just click on here on the ribbon and just untick this and you can see we can have here the first one the ida which one we earlier created you can also create new tray from here as well from windows manage trace new tray you can also delete the uh, default trays or the trace which you have created now what we can do is we can click on whichever we don't want for example ida2 we don't want and we can delete you can see you can also rename it again and look okay, at this delete and it's done so also you can have multiple you know trace of multiple uh, ways uh, whichever you want as per your requirement so no issues on that then coming on and there is one more option where you can you can see a pin over here this is auto hide you can just unpin it it goes and it docks on the right side now to if you don't want it to hide whenever you move the mouse cursor on the viewport 
okay just go ahead and just speed it up again now coming on the toolbar set you have to go to tools now in toolbar set you have some shortcuts which you can use from keyboards now in tools you can find all those shortcuts over here the for arrow it is e for bucket b and you can also set shortcuts which are not assigned for particular things we will be showing you in the later chapters okay now to create or to edit your toolbar views so which is on the left hand side to go to view you can go for toolbar now we can choose here multiple like we have camera we have uh, this is of a vray plugin known as caso uh, caso vintage so we won't be using now we have classifier so we have cloth works which is a plugin will be coming on later part so these are few things so what we'll be using as of now as i told you earlier we'll be using large tool set we'll be using measurements so measurement we can also dock it wherever you want so i'll be docking it to the right side bottom corner so then we want views which we have already selected and if you want you can choose whichever you want over here now we can use so we, can, we have pretty much everything on this so we need not need to add anything additional to this but we can use styles so i'll just talk it up again up and then we can just click on close but if you are again confused you can just reset or reset all everything goes to default options so yes so this is pretty much so the next chapter will be learning about units so if you like this session a bit more depth on the default trace and on the shortcuts bit briefing on shortcuts do hit the like button and the subscribe button also share it to your friends and stay tuned for more tutorials thank you